Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to make not your regular meatloaf. I am making stuffed meatloaf. This is something that my mother taught us a long time ago when we were kids and it is delicious. You can stuff it the way you want to stuff it, but I'm going to show you how I stuff it. So let's get going. I'm going to put the meat to the side. Before I do anything, I like to make the mixture that I'm going to put inside the meatloaf first. So I got the meatloaf. I'm going to show you all the ingredients I got. I got sasson. I got my breadcrumbs. I got the Italian style. I got my pasta sauce, which is the classical and it's the four cheese. I got my white onion. I have roasted garlic hunts diced tomato. Can't see it from the glare, but it's there. I got mozzarella. I got my salt, pepper, um, garlic powder. I got my um, garlic that they minced. It's like a kind of like a little paste. I got ham, diced ham. And I serve my meatloaf with a side of potatoes, smashed potatoes. Now, don't be lazy. Don't use that watery packet mashed potatoes unless you're desperate. Cause it just doesn't taste right. It don't. And I'm gonna make these garlic potatoes. So I'm gonna show y'all how I make it. So let's get this going. You're gonna need a bowl. I got my bowl here, ready to go. And I'm gonna open my ham. I should have got some scissors, but I didn't. Cause I'm gonna use this whole thing. So I'm just gonna slice it open. And make sure there's not a lot of water. If there's water in the bowl, which there's none, please drain it because it's gonna make um, meatloaf soup instead of meatloaf. Right. I got my spoon that I washed. So I'm just gonna break it apart. If I see any water, I'll drain it. But this pack is really good. They don't really have too much water, but look at the ham right here. All right. These, you definitely have to drain the dice. Um, Diced tomatoes, they're roasted garlic. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just use one can first and see how it looks. If I need more, then I'll open the, um, the second can. I bought two cans. I'm not making a big meatloaf, so I know I'm, we're gonna have some ham left, or some mixture left. Which, if you don't cross contaminate it, it this right here is good when you make um, eggs. You can make an omelet with it. Let me drain this real quick. All right, so I'm gonna put it in here. And then I'm gonna add onions. So I'm gonna put some onions and add it in there. My white onion, I'm gonna break it up and rinse it off really quickly. This is the one I put it in You guys, if you're new here, please remember to press that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you are aware of any new videos that I have coming out. And remember that I do have um, my other channels, which is Lavish Dolls, which is the girls. If you have teenagers, that's great for them to go see them. And I also got the For the Love of Disney also that I got rolling still. So make sure y'all subscribe to those. They're awesome um, channels. Here we go. I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. I did take off my rings because I'm about to get into that meat over here and I don't want it to get stuck in the crevices. And you're just gonna dice them. I love onions. Okay. 
This is so good. I would try, I would like to try with like mozzarella or no feta with spinach. Try different ways because without no like ham or anything in it. There we go. I'm gonna toss it in there. And we're just gonna toss it. So all of it is mixed very well together. And then you could tell if you need um, some more onions, which to me, I need more. I'm telling you, I love onions. Stop. I, I don't care how bad it makes your breast smell. I love it. It just gives the, the food such a great taste. Okay. I don't want to go crazy. Overboarding it. I'm overboarding it here. But that's okay. I'm going to grab a spoon because I'm going to put this um, garlic paste in there. In Florida, I find the most craziest things. I've never seen this in, in Rochester. I don't know why. But it's the best thing ever. It out. I'm cleaning it and I'm gonna put a tablespoon of it a good portion of it there we go that's a lot enough because I love oh my god I love this stuff all right and you just mix it up make sure it just combines together it smells so good ah, it smells so good I'm gonna add some pepper into it I'm not gonna put salt in there because the um, cooked ham, the little diced ham, already has salt, and you don't want to over salt it. It'll be probably really, really salty. Alrighty. So, if you don't want to use the mixture in the morning for your breakfast or whatnot, this is a time where you want to put a tiny bit of um, spaghetti sauce to go in the middle. Ah! Why can't I do it? I'm gonna do it the, the way I was taught. Can't open it, stab it. Bam, you don't need no muscles for it. It just opens up by itself. Let me get, grab another spoon because I'm gonna mix my garlic one with that. All right, I'm gonna wipe it down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons to it. Bam. And just mix it. And if you need more, which I think I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna add actually two more. You want it a little saucy, but not too salt. Um, sauce, I almost said salty, saucy. Perfect. Because remember, you don't want it to be watery. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Bam, look at that. Look at that mixture. Oh, yummy. So. We'll put that to the side right now. Put it to over here. And we are going to do our um, ground beef. So I like, again, onions. I dice onions and I put it inside my um, the meatloaf. Even, even with my burgers, guys. With my burgers, I cut onions, I mix it up in the... Um, the mixture and make the patties and the onions already in there. Oh, yummy. It gives it such good taste. You know what I didn't pull out the fridge? Eggs. but I'm about to get it. All right. You put as much onions as you want. If you don't want to put onions, that's your preference. I just, I just love it. So let me get the eggs first. We're going to head and get two eggs. Mm -hmm. 
And I actually always do these separate in a separate bowl because sometimes they come out with blood in them. I don't know why, but they do. And it's just, ugh, I can't, I can't. I just wanna make sure all my eggs that I put in don't have no bloody anything in it. I look at them, there's no blood, shoot them in there. That's like the safest way, cause you know, I've caught in eggs like that, like, ew, like why does it look like that? All right, second egg in, perfect. I'm gonna push this to the side cause I don't think I'm gonna put anything off. All right, I took my rings off. I'm gonna get in here. Put my bracelet and take it off. All right. This was a four and a half pounds. We don't need four and no, a four and a half pounds. I'm making the baby some sloppy joe because she don't eat this. So that's why I got extra meat. I would say two pounds is good enough. So I'll just kind of measure it out myself. And I just toss it in there. Carefully. No, I'm gonna add a little bit more. It depends on the pan that you use, you know. Whatever pan you use is, you know. I think this is like three, yeah, this is three pounds, you can see, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands real quick because I have to still touch some other ingredients and I don't want it, no cross contamination, got it. I go through my nails and wash my nails and make sure everything's out of it. All right. So here's Sasson. This gives it color, it gives it taste. I'm gonna put two packets in there. They look like this if you've never seen Sasson. Like I said, it gives it color, it gives it flavor. I toss it right here. Perfect. I got my breadcrumbs. We're gonna need it. I'm gonna measure it. I'm gonna do one cup real quick. Here it goes. We're gonna go ahead and put garlic paste again. Miss garlic, but this is like more paste. I put two of them in there. And for the salt, not too much because remember, um, we have sasson in there. We don't wanna go crazy putting too much salt. So I'm gonna put one. Two teaspoons of salt. We're gonna do, again, garlic. We're gonna go ahead and put one teaspoon of garlic. What's going on? I'm pressing the wrong thing. Huh? I'm opening the wrong thing. Having nails, guys, is terrible. I'm gonna put it right here so I make sure I don't spill it everywhere. Whatever I, whatever I don't use, I use it for my um, potatoes. Here we go. Cause look, I put it right here, and I'm I'm doing potatoes, garlic potatoes, and I need the powder. So one teaspoon, and I'm gonna sprinkle some pepper. Okay, to your taste, however you want. Here we go, guys. Here's where it gets messy. If you don't like touching meat, you need to find somebody ASAP to do it for you. To do it for you. Ready? Here we go. I'm gonna get that egg that's underneath there. You see it? Ooh, egg. I hate touching this, but it tastes so good when you're done with it. So good. I'm planning tomorrow to make biste, which is steak. It's like cube steak. 
some peppers and onions, some yummy white rice, and some beans, guys. So I hope you watch this video and you come back and watch my other video, my cooking, my rice. You know, the holidays are coming up. Um, we like to make pasteles. We like to make all sorts of goodies for um, the holidays. So hopefully y'all come back and y'all watch. Definitely try these recipes and y'all come talk to me and leave me some messages. Visit me on Instagram, on any of my platforms. We just want to make sure all this is like put together. Don't taste it. You don't want to get sick. When you feel like it's already set and done. There are a couple of pumps here. You want to find the mold that you're going to use. I have this mold. And I'm going to start piling it in, making walls. Don't make them too thick. I'm going to show you how it looks. After it's done, my little wall. I did preheat the oven, which I forgot to tell y'all, at um 350. Okay. 350. Okay. While I'm gone. I'm gonna put some potatoes, like when it gets closer to the time that this is almost done, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my real potatoes, not packing potatoes, guys. I know it's tempting, but it tastes, like I said, believe me, it tastes so good with real ones. Ooh, it's raining. I didn't think it was gonna rain today. Show you how it looks. Looks like this. No meat pie. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands once again. You don't want everything touching everything like this. All right. Wash my hands real quick. Because we're gonna play with the mixture. We're gonna pile the mixture in there. But at there's, you see at the bottom now, it's starting to get like a juice at the bottom. You see it, you can see it. Just drain, drain it like when you get the spoon. Get the spoon with the holes and you just strain it and push down. This is going to be so good. So good. Oh, there's a lot of access. Um, sauce at the bottom, like water. But that's probably obviously from the tomatoes. All right. All right, well. Can't fit anymore. So let me let me show y'all how it looks right now again. And look at that. Yummy. So what I do is I put a layer of cheese on top on top of that.
Now I'm gonna put my hand in the bag because obviously I've been playing with me and stuff like that. I just, oh, I can't. So I'm just gonna to toss it on the top. Come on. And it's mozzarella, obviously. And then just move it around. Make sure everything gets a little bit of, of it. And there it is. Okay. So now, again, back to the dirty work. We're about to put the top on, okay? And we're just gonna definitely flatten it out a little bit. And the, the edges, just fold them in because at the end of the day, you still have to put the sauce on the top. It's awesome. Yeah. So I need room that it doesn't come out the sides. That ain't gonna be good. <laughs> Drop some meat. That's all right. We'll take care of it. So, done guys I'm almost done try to massage it and make it smooth on top make sure you like I said have room for this to cook and have room so I could put sauce on it all right you guys ready to see it Here it is. Look how pretty. Yes, yummy. Yummy. Um, now I'm gonna foil it, put it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. Um, cover it with foil in 30 minutes. I'll be back to show you what the second step is. So I went ahead and took it out the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it. Bam. Obviously, it still needs some time. You have to put it for 20 more minutes and check on it. But you can see that it has moved away from the sides. It gives me some room for the, the sauce and the um, cheese. So I'm going to put it back in the oven for 20 more minutes um, without the foil. And we will be back to check on it. All right, I pulled it out. Look how it looks. You can see the onions. You can see the cheese popping out all over the place right here. Yummy. So... I'm going to put my sauce on here, the same one I use, the classical four cheese. I'm going to put it on top. I'm going to spread it around. i got a spoon here. I mean, a spoon. No, not a spoon. You see, it's a knife. A butter knife. I'm just going to spread it. Spread it, spread it, spread it. And it's your choice if you put cheese or not. You can hear Maya playing in the patio over there. Because it's raining, so she can't go outside. But it's up to you if you put um, cheese or not. I'm definitely gonna put a little bit of extra cheese on top of it. I'm gonna put it back in the oven. I'm gonna raise the oven to 400 so I can melt a little bit faster. There we go. Here it goes. Here it is. Looks uneven. There we go. There. I still look uneven, but that's all right. A little bit more cheese, I guess, so it'll do. Right here and right here. Back to the oven it goes. So I finished doing my potatoes. I boiled, I took the potatoes out. I put it back in the pan. You'll see over here, that's where the garlic. I put garlic powder, salt, the water. I let it boil. And then afterwards, I add a tablespoon of butter. I add a splash of water. I mean, get water, not water, milk. I want to say I have a cup of milk. And then I would love to add some more of my garlic paste 
just a little bit, one teaspoon, that's it. And then believe it or not, no, um, half a teaspoon. Um, these kids have, oh, don't even know where my masher is. So I'm gonna have to old school it and mash it with a fork. Yeah, that's my life, guys. God knows where they put it. But I'll keep smashing this potatoes, mix everything up. And then I'll be back when the meatloaf is done in 30 minutes. Look at it. Look at it. I don't want to tilt it too much. Oh my God, it looks so good. Can't wait to plate it for you and show y'all. Let me get my plate. Got my little plate here. Got my spatula. Oh my God, you can see the cheese and everything, everything coming out the sides. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, let me get my mess. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Just a tad bit, but that's okay. I got my fork to help me out to pull this out of here. Put it right here. And I gotta show you the inside of this, this bad boy, I mean like really. You can see the hand, the tomato, you can see the onions, the cheese, look at the cheese. Oh my gosh, look at that. How yummy does that look? And I also, you know how I am all, I have to look cute. So I got my little cup. I got my mashed potatoes that I made. You can make it however you want. I did garlic ones. I just pile them in. Just so it could look nice on my pictures. Damn. Do a mountain of it. Let's put it on this. Let me push this a little bit to the side. And hopefully this comes out because you know it's mashed potatoes guys it's it oh no i got it i got it <laughs> i thought it wasn't gonna come out but it came out look at how yummy you guys i hope you enjoyed watching me make my meatloaf that's stuck um please do try this recipe leave a comment hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you're new I will see you on the next video. Remember, I still have For the Love of Disney. Please follow me there. Enjoy.